I take uh, an interesting turn today. It's National Barefoot Day. Oh no. If you didn't know that it is actually a thing, then you may not know that going barefoot also has its risks. NBC 5's Lauren Petty talked to a sports medicine physician about what you need to know. The warmer weather and more time at home have more people going barefoot. Molly Sullivan loves leaving her shoes off this time of year. Probably just because it's summer. I usually am barefoot. So she's yeah. barefoot a lot. <laughs> knowing that if you are going to be barefoot, that, that there is a potential risk for exposure. Sports medicine physician Dr. Josh Blomgren says walking around barefoot could lead to athlete's foot, warts, hookworm, and even MRSA. Fungal infections, bacterial infections, parasites and things like that are, are, are infrequent or relatively rare, but there, there, there is an element of risk there. More common injuries are foot and ankle sprains and also plantar fasciitis, which is when you get intense pain in the connective tissue of your foot. Relax, relax those calves. And remember that barefoot running trend several years back? Dr. Blomgren advises against it and reminds runners to change their shoes every 500 miles or after four months of heavy use. It's the, the foam of the shoe. It starts to to break down and then it provides less and less stability. Some people wouldn't dream of going without shoes. No, really, no barefoot now because I think it's dangerous. Dr. Blomgren's advice, think of your feet as prized possessions that need protection and support. We see a lot of uh, different things that, that pop up as people make the transition from the more supportive winter style shoe to the summer shoes. Lauren Petty, NBC5 News.